Hello, you're watching Got Space Game and it's time for DCS in 3 or less. Today we're in the Apache showing how to start the helicopter from cold and dark. As always, useful control bindings will be on screen at the end of the video. Press I to hide the iHads monocle. Close the canopy. Turn on the battery. Open the APU switch cover. Turn on the APU. Wait a moment for your MFDs to come online. Right click the engine 1 starter switch. As the engine comes up to 20% press right alt and home to push the throttle to idle. The engine gauge will turn green around 60%. Right click the engine 2 starter, it's just behind the throttle there. As engine 2 reaches 20% press right shift and home to advance the engine 2 throttle. Make sure the collective is fully lowered. Engine 2 will turn green around 60%. Give everything a moment to stabilise. Turn on the primary interior lighting. This is essential for helmet alignment. Advance both throttles to the fly position with the page up button. Voice warnings and your master caution should clear after a moment. Turn off the APU and close the switch cover. Now we'll bore sight the helmet mounted display. Bring up the weapons page, select bore sight, and then iHads. Note that the cursor now appears on top of the align button on the right hand screen. Use iHads show to bring back the iHads. Move your head position to align the iHads cross with the bullseye. If you're not using head tracking, hold camera transpose with clickable cockpit turned off to move your head. That's close enough, so press cursor enter to complete the bore sight. Bring up the TSD on the right hand screen, and on the left screen bring up the backup HUD. Uncage and centre the backup ADI. Set the backup altimeter. Turn on the flare dispenser, arm it and set the audio. You'll need to do the chaff dispenser whilst in flight, but this will be covered in another video. Around about now your TSD map should populate. Bring up your iHads display for takeoff. Set a tiny amount of left stick and left rudder and trim that in. Raise the collective smoothly but quickly to take off. Trim the aircraft for a hover. I've been Dan, you've been watching DCS and 3 or less from Got Space Game. Massive thanks to all my Kofi supporters. If you found this video useful, please share it and subscribe to the channel for more 3 minute DCS tutorials covering all of your favourite models.